Ladies and gentlemen, in the tumultuous Amhara region of Ethiopia, a relentless and fierce struggle is raging, pitting the Ethiopian National Defense Forces, ENDF, against the Amhara Fano militia on multiple fronts. In this comprehensive update, we aim to provide you with the latest developments from a multitude of sources, painting a vivid picture of the ongoing conflict in the region. The most recent information reaching us indicates a significant shift in the power dynamics within the Amhara region. Following a grueling and unrelenting battle, it has been reported that Robit City has fallen under the control of the Amhara Fano forces. The Ethiopian government, in response, has committed substantial military resources in an attempt to reclaim the city. However, local reports suggest that the Fano militia's mobility and strategic advantage have allowed them to withstand the ENDF's offensive. Tragically, this resistance has taken a heavy toll on the Ethiopian army, with substantial casualties being reported. The situation remains intense, particularly in the city's outskirts. Turning our attention to the northern Wello region, particularly Raya and Kobo, we find another theater of intense conflict. The ENDF soldiers have been engaged in fierce battles, employing heavy weaponry to secure their positions. The intensity of the fighting in this area further underscores the gravity of the situation within the Amhara region. Central Gondar's West Balsa district, near Tunganj Mahal, popularly known as Fantoreha, has also witnessed substantial violence. In a protracted battle that unfolded over the course of an entire day, the local militia suffered heavy losses, with several members reportedly losing their lives. This grim scenario has now extended its reach to encompass Gondar itself. In this ancient city, heavy clashes are unfolding, and the Dangla area is not exempt from the pervasive violence. As the conflict deepens, disturbing reports emerge of abductions and safety concerns for key figures in the region. Notably, Fano members have reportedly abducted two prominent leaders of prosperity in the East District, underlining the volatile and unpredictable nature of the situation. In Debreta Bor, political leaders and their families have been issued a warning against using public transport as there are fears of potential Fano attacks. This instruction has been disseminated across the entire Amhara region, impacting the mobility and security of leadership and their families. In the North Shiva zone, Birhit district, the conflict that ignited yesterday in Manjar and Methibala town still rages on today, casting a grim shadow over the region. The city remains eerily devoid of activity as its inhabitants grapple with the ongoing strife. Meanwhile, in the Gujam zone, located to the west of an unspecified city, a dramatic turn of events has unfolded. The Ethiopian army, facing the intense fighting, found itself in a precarious situation yesterday, resulting in the abandonment of two vehicles as they hastily retreated to Bor. Today, however, there are reports of a resolute reassembly of forces as they mobilize and commence a move from Bor towards Setur. It is disheartening to note that injuries were sustained by soldiers in two locations within the town of Bure as they hastened their retreat and their vehicles were at risk of overturning. In the face of this peril, a significant portion of the city's population, including women, children and relatives, chose to flee, leaving Seta City in a state of abandonment and disarray. Further exacerbating the distressing situation, West Gojam Zone Town is gripped by tension and uncertainty. This unease has intensified due to the entry of several armoured vehicles into the city, originating from the direction of Denba and Fanot Salem. The ominous presence of these military vehicles has instilled a sense of fear among local residents, prompting many to make the difficult decision to evacuate the city in search of safety. We receive alarming information from the region where an individual named Ibrahim, formerly employed as a security guard at Sunun Bank in Udit Shah, has been apprehended under allegations of being armed.
the arrest of Ibrahim underscores the pervasive sense of insecurity and apprehension that has taken root in the region as individuals and communities grapple with the unpredictable and perilous environment. In the unfolding tragedy that continues to grip the Gojam region of Ethiopia, particularly in debris work, a disturbing and grim series of events has come to light. According to reports, ENDF soldiers have been implicated in the heinous murder of over 15 innocent Amhara civilians. This tragic toll includes a heart-wrenching array of victims, such as a father and his child, a monk, two farmers, mental patients, and two laborers. The horrifying nature of these killings underscores the immense human cost of the conflict and the impact it has on the lives of ordinary people caught in the crossfire. Moving to Debra Marcos, also located in Gojam, a chilling account of brutality emerges. NDF forces have reportedly conducted three drone strikes in separate locations, resulting in the tragic deaths of ten Amhara civilians. These strikes took place near the Debra Marcos University Health Campus, in proximity to the Weta River, and in the vicinity of Daliga. These civilian casualties are a stark reminder of the indiscriminate nature of modern warfare and the tragic loss of innocent lives that it can entail. Further afield, in Addis Kedem, situated in western Gojam, the toll of civilian suffering continues to rise. According to the latest updates, ENDF soldiers have employed heavy weapons shelling, leading to the deaths of ten Amhara civilians. The use of such devastating firepower in populated areas further underscores the devastating impact of the conflict on local communities. Finally, in Vegedi, located in southern Wello, a horrifying and deeply distressing turn of events has occurred. Following a defeat at the hands of the Fano forces, ENDF soldiers resorted to a campaign of terror, going door to door and ruthlessly killing Amhara civilians, the majority of whom were women, children and young men. This senseless and indiscriminate violence has left a scar on the region, leaving families shattered and communities in mourning. The accounts provided paint a bleak picture of the ongoing conflict in the region, highlighting the immense human suffering and loss of life. The need for an urgent resolution to this crisis is evident, as countless innocent civilians continue to bear the brunt of the violence. It is our sincere hope that the situation can be resolved swiftly and that peace can be restored to these troubled areas. We will remain vigilant and committed to providing updates as these distressing events continue to unfold.